network versus host portion. As I have already given you this analogy where we have street uh, numbers and then we have home, uh, house numbers. Street numbers, house numbers. Similarly, we have uh, the IPv4 network address and then we have host portions. So this is how we can identify the network portion and the host portion and which uh, the analogy that I have already given. So this is basically the network portion and these are basically the hosts. Similarly, this is network and these, these are the hosts. Here we have these networks and these are hosts. Uh, if you go uh, on your computer command prompt and give the uh, command which is IP config you will see these kind of IPs okay so this is IPv4 address which I am talking about and which I have already talked in the previous slides as well then you will see something different uh, just beneath IPv4 address there is something called a subnet mask so many get people get confused what is subnet mask why and why do we need that subnet mask basically with the IPv4 address whenever you will see IPv4 address you will always always going to see this subnet mask so mask or subnet mask will decide what is your network portion and what is your host portion so basically subnet mask is the recipe or uh, the solution to find out what is going to be your network portion and what is going to be your host portion so if I give you example of this I simple IPv4 address which is 192.168.31.1 then the subnet mask is 255.255.255.255.0 just remember wherever we have 255 in subnet mask that whole portion represent network ID which is what your street address and wherever you will see the zero it represent your host portion and which is what which is your host okay so in such case as you can clearly see two double five two double five two double five ends until here so it means 192.168.31 is going to be your network portion and where is zero I told you uh, I'm gonna change different color for that so wherever we have the zero in a subnet mask it represent the host portion okay so this is how you can identify network portion and host portion when you have IPv4 address and subnet mask is given just right now just remember these things because this is how we are going piece by piece and when we will touch the exercise then you will see how beneficial these information will be there okay so let's move to the next slide uh, which is talking about the classes and default network and host portion you have to remember these things by heart seriously uh, we have total five classes when it comes to IPv4 addressing every class has its own range and by the way 
total range or uh, the total you know these bytes they start from zero all the way to two double five and then this is divided into multiple classes as you can see the class a start from zero to 127 class b 128 to 191 class c 192 to 223 class d 224 to 239 and then class e 242 255 so these are the most well-known classes or you know the IP addresses that are being used in our local area and environment LAN okay we have further division as well but just keep it in mind the ABC are well known then we have class D which basically used for multicasting Uh, what did I say multitasking or uh, it is basically multicasting I don't know what did I say earlier multitasking or so that was a slip of a tongue basically it is used for multicasting and when you will hit uh, um, you know uh, the routing protocols like uh, RIP OSPF EIGRP okay in the advanced topics you will see I will be talking about the multicasting then we have class E this is for experimental purpose and that is not being used okay so we are totally concerned in this uh, section uh, just for A B and C class uh, then uh, we have you know I told you every IP address has network portion and the host portion the class A as you can correlate with this table the class A always have one network portion and three host portions means it will be like this two double five dot zero dot zero dot zero then class B we have two network and two host portion like uh, 192 or oh, sorry 255 255 and then these two host portion 0.0, 0. this is I'm talking about the subnet mask how it will be look like the by default subnet for mask for class B and last but not least class C which has three network portion and one host portion uh, which makes like two double five two double five two double five dot zero you can put dot in between as well okay another representation of the same thing that I have mentioned here you can also mention in a bit notation for example uh, the class A what was the subnet mask for class A because one network portion which says 255 then dot zero dot zero dot zero and we know how many octet or bits are in this eight okay so you can represent this whole as in a single notation like the dot slash eight the class B similarly how many um, uh, uh, two double five are there two to Two double five dot two double five and then zero dot zero. It means eight plus eight slash sixteen. And the last one will be eight plus eight plus eight slash twenty-eight. 
24. So the same thing you can see in the table here as well. So for the class A, um, you know, which I was showing you earlier, 255.0.0.0 or slash 8. Then we have 255.255.0.0 slash 16 and then slash 24. Okay. Then here in the end, I'm showing that private IP address ranges. So this is how they look like. Class A will be 10.0.0.02 all the way to 10.255.255.255. So these are basically the ranges of class A. Similarly, the class B, but as you can see, uh, I have told you that the class A range between 0 to 1 to 7. So this is in the range of 0 to 1 to 7, which is 10 dot, which is 10 basically. Okay. The another one, as you can see, 172. When 72 falls in which category of uh, class? Class B. As you can see, it is between 128 to 191. So 172 um, comes in between of these. So this is class B. So these are the uh, basically the RFC 1918 addresses, private. Uh, in the next slide, I'm going to show what is the significance of uh, having these RFC classes. So just keep it in mind that class B has 172.16.0.02 all the way to 31.255. And in the last, we have 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 which falls into cl class C. Okay. Then here I have shown how many host per network you can choose and how many possible uh, number of networks in the same, in, in these class, in this class, in this class, in this class, you could have. Okay, so you can use calculator to calculate and by the way, we are going to cover these things in uh, the later slides when we will do the exercise.